You are amazing. You, sir, you are great. You in the back, you are powerful. The man next to you, you are capable. You are all these things and so much more. But why do you need me to tell you how great you are? Can't you just believe in yourself so much that you already know this? Can't you believe so much in yourself that it is you who tells yourself this? Look in the mirror and tell yourself, you are great. Think to yourself, you are capable. Tell yourself that it is possible for you. Why? Because it is. Why? Because the most important person in this whole pursuit is you. It is you who needs to believe in you. Self-belief. You need to believe what you are saying. You need to believe in your inner voice. Once you believe in yourself, you need to tell yourself daily how great you are. You need to tell yourself daily how great you can be. You need to tell yourself what you are capable of because you are designed for greatness. You just need to tell yourself that first. Take away your nice clothes. Get rid of the cell phone and the laptop. Take away the warm bed at night. Strip back the social event. Strip back everything. What do you have left? If everything was gone tomorrow, what would you have left? If you were out on the streets with just the shirt on your back, what do you have left? You see, if you had created value within yourself, you would still be carrying the most precious and priceless possession with you. You would still have your mindset. You would still have your abilities and skills. You would still have your knowledge. If you ask yourself the question and you answer with nothing, then you have not created enough value within. The biggest investment you can make is in yourself. It is with your mindset and willpower that you will obtain success. It is within your knowledge and understanding you will create value. It isn't the possessions you own. It isn't the situation you were in. It isn't your friends or your family. It is not the watch or the phone in your hand. It is you who brings value. Anyone could attain objects. Anyone can accumulate money. But for true success, it is you who must be the most valuable asset to the situation. If you dropped a billionaire on the sidewalk today with just his shirt on his back, do you think in one year's time he would be in the same situation? Hell no! It wasn't the money that made them a billionaire. It was their mindset. It was their outlook. It was their skills and abilities. Don't be pushed around by your problems. Be led by your dreams. Imagine a day pointing out the problems in your life, the insecurities, fears, past relationships, how would you ever make progress highlighting the issues that may never be fixed? Draining, tiring, and depressing. Life stuck in the same routine day after day. Now imagine if you spend a day focusing on positivity, the aspects of life you value, changes that you can achieve, spending time focusing on bad situations that can be changed into good ones. How about a day taking action? Work and progress will be achieved. Lead your own life for you. Lead your own life to be a better person. Lead your own life full of positivity. Lead your own life to make yourself happy. The chance to change can motivate to become the person you always wanted to be the person you dreamed you would become. With that attitude, you can change. With that attitude, you can do anything you want to do. Switch to become the person you aspire to be, the one you've looked up to, because this can be the first step towards grasping your dream. 
the next level where new opportunities are now handed to you. The time is now, and this is the time for success. Make your life worth living for you and no one else. Dedication doesn't have an off season. Are you scared of failure? Scared to seem like the weakest? Don't be afraid to take a step back because that step back could be two steps forward. You're halfway there to winning the race. Winning the race to success. Run the race for you, not for approval, for your life to finally change. Change for you. Change so your life can move up to the next level. On this level is where you can make it past your fears with courage and security, knowing that you can only move forward and nothing can no longer push you back. The hard times aren't there to hold back. Your consistency and persistence to carry through the hard times, that's what pushes you forward. Stay dedicated. Dedicated on what you're focused on. Dedicated on the life you've imagined for yourself. The one where you're in control because you are strong and you have the potential to carry your successes forward. The bad time right now, this isn't an off season. This is a dip you can easily dig yourself out of. In order for you to feel positivity and success, you need to feel the pain. The pain you can rise above from. The pain you feel now, we become the victory you feel tomorrow. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Have you ever worked so hard on a project? A project you truly felt proud of? One you actually thought you were going to succeed in? One that put in hours of work. However, you don't do as well as you thought, and someone who worked half as hard and put in hardly any effort managed to do better. However, talent never overrides hard work. People don't get to the top without putting in any work. Those with just talent can't feel the satisfaction of success. Rely on your strength to get through. Rely on your hard work to get through the rejection, the pain. Because with just talent, you would drop at the first hurdle because you wouldn't have the strength. Stop relying on your talent. Learn to grow from just that. Don't let that just define you. In order for you to grow as a person, you need to feel rejection in order to make it past your fear of setbacks. You need to grow to be hardworking and become a stronger person. Move past just your talent. Be more than that. Have authority over your life. Be stronger. Have the will to make it past the mistake you made. Move past the rejection and the failure and try to move away from it. Learn from it and grow for the next time. You don't have to be extreme. You just have to be consistent. Never feel bad for not always making extreme moves, for not always moving miles forward. It's better to keep taking smaller steps every day than taking extreme steps every now and again. Don't strive to be the best in one day. Strive to be a little better every day then that way you will feel satisfied and the transformation from better to best will be so much easier. Make it through the fear of you not making progress. Just because you're not moving as fast doesn't mean you're not moving forward. This is a journey. Don't expect everything to fall into place immediately. You need to make the journey slowly. Things can fall into place they can fall into place permanently, not just temporarily. But in order for the change to occur, the journey needs to start 
now. Have the patience to wait for the transition to happen. Trust your work is making a difference, making a difference to your well-being. Trust that it's strengthening you, making your future aspirational, a future where your life is fulfilled by the progress you've made.